name's Lori Van Sickle, and we're part of Flying V Farms here in Bakersfield, California. Um, this is a mare named Snow, Snowy Night, and she's 10 years old. She's actually at Appaloosa, but primarily a thoroughbred with spots. And uh, we're going to show you today a little progressive training through a gymnastic jumping line. We use line. gymnastic jumping lines for a huge variety of reasons. You can introduce horses to the concept of jumping. You can work on style issues if they need to bring their shoulders up or if they need to tighten up their hind legs. Um, you can work on growing their confidence, teaching them to really move through the line to take one jump at a time. For a hot horse, you can set it up so that it teaches them to be a little more patient and to wait and to jump one fence at a time. So depending upon what you set up and the distances between your jumps, you really have an endless variety of uh, things that can teach your horse your desired end result. But I'm going to work on with her, it, we're going to build progressively a line where she jumps in from a trot, takes a stride, jumps in over a sim simple vertical that then we'll build to an oxer spread to teach her to reach and move forward through the jump. And then we're going to build another vertical, three strides out, and I'm having those three strides be just a little shorter because she'll tend to get bold over a jump and then get too strong after. And I need for her to be able to listen to me when I say, hey, steady, we need to put three 11 foot strides in here to get a good takeoff as opposed to three 12 or 13 foot moving strides. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna teach her to move forward and then hopefully to round back. That's the goal, we'll see how it all works. Okay, so what we wanna do here on our intro jump is just have the horse come in pleasantly, a nice rhythm, good level of energy, but not looking too fast or excited and just let her deal with the jump. And that was pretty nice. At this point, again, we have a nice level of energy and pace and frame. The rider's bringing the horse in nice and straight and then just letting the horse do the job, trying to be neutral, in balance, but following the horse through the line. All right, so what we're gonna do now is present this horse with the X, a quiet one stride, and jump the vertical. And the horse is coming in nicely and as she goes around the corner, you can see she's a little looky outside. Comes through the jump, looks a little bit, and then jumps and ticks it with her hind legs because she wasn't quite as focused as she needed to be. So we're going to let her have another go at it. You can see her putting her focus on the jump a little earlier. She comes through and does a much steadier go and then has better form over the second fence. All right, so this first time through with it set as an oxer, we're just asking the horse, it's a very low oxer, but give her a chance to realize she has a spread jump. So she's gonna to have to move through from the X, reach over that oxer a little bit more. Okay, so this second time through, we've spread the oxer, which just simply means a, a wider jump, out about eight inches, just to get our horse to really reach through with her shoulders and uh, move over that second element. And she handled that quite well, so I think we'll go ahead and put it up a little. And so we're going to come through it one more time just because she was a little bit distracted uh, initially and I just want her to feel a little more settled and confident over this same um, gymnastic setup before we progress to the last element. Okay, so now we've added a third element in our gymnastic line, a vertical jump, meaning there's no spread um, dimension. And I've set it up at a quiet three strides. So she reaches, coming in over the oxer, lands moving a bit strong, and our goal is to get her to realize, ooh, I better back up a little bit and jump up over the top of this. So she was a little deep and touched her hind feet on it. So now the second time, because she was confident, I went ahead and raised it to sort of give her a little bit more something to look at. So as she comes through the auction, she's strong, she's landing in a forward pace, but she's backing off a little bit better to the jump, making a rounder, cleaner bascule over the jump and a pretty nice effort. Okay, so this next time through, since she still isn't being as respectful of that third jump and setting herself up to jump it round, we're gonna put it a little higher and we're gonna roll the ground pole back, which gives her depth perception, um, the idea of rocking back on her hocks a little more and jumping up over the jump. And that was an improvement. 
So besides using a gymnastic jumping line to teach our horse and improve various aspects of our horse's ability, it's a great tool for teaching riders how to jump because you can set the gymnastics so it's extremely um, balanced for the horse that that rider is on. The horse doesn't have to lengthen or shorten or think too much. So the rider can just come in and really work on establishing their seat, their position, their balance, and get used to the feeling of jumps. And of course, it wouldn't be this high. We'd start with just little X's or even poles on the ground. But it's a great tool, um, and you can isolate whatever training condition that you need to improve, be it horse or rider or both. And then what would be the next lesson for snow? When, when you brought her out here the next time, would you do the same thing? No, I would probably take this and apply it to a cross-country jumping complex like we have a bank so what I could do is I could build a little jump on top of the bank that she'd canter up to jump the jump take a stride jump down the drop go three strides out and jump another fence so it's the same idea as this but applied out on cross country where you have uh, terrain issues you have solid jumps drops things like that so that the horse starts to to shift and think so that when they're presented with you know, a series of, of large cross-country obstacles or uphills or downhills, they just negotiate through one at a time because they go, oh, I know, I just, I just keep going forward and it'll, it'll work out. My rider's not going to ask me to do something I'm not capable of. Thank you. I had a lot of fun and Snow had a good lesson and uh, I would love to come and do something else again, maybe with some of my younger beginner riders. I am available for lessons. We have school horses if you don't have your own horse, um, but we also have clients here that board their horses that take lessons. So. And how would someone contact you? Um, you can call me on my cell phone, 661-304-4369. 661-304-4369. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Thank you.